Hey everyone, Diavolo here, and in today's video we're going to be going over one of the inherited techniques passed down in the Zenon family. This technique was first seen in the battle between Naobita Zenon and the special grey curse Dagon. This technique is called Projection Sorcery, or more well known as the FPS technique. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of this ability, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video if you do enjoy my content as it really helps out with the algorithm. But anyway, Let's get into this technique. So firstly, I just want to start off with a little bit of history relating to projection sorcery technique. According to Ogi Zenin, it wasn't because of Ogi's technique that he wasn't picked as the leader of the clan, but because Naobita was born with a natural sense of strategic movement and near perfect timing. He said exactly that the technique doesn't have much of a history. Obviously, this is in reference to it being an inherited technique, one comparing it to Megami's Shikigami technique, which is another inherited ability of the Zenin family. It is unknown whether Naobita Obito created this technique or inherited it when he was younger, but we do know that one of his sons, Nao Yazenin, has also inherited this technique. Now let's get into this technique. Okay, so if you're a hardcore gamer or into cinema and graphics, then I'd imagine you most likely or already somewhat understand the core physics of this technique. For everyone else who doesn't know what this technique does and what makes it so potent is that it divides one whole second into 24 frames of animation or movement using the field of view as the projection. You can imagine the projection as like the TV screen. Neobeta says, do you know how many frames are in one animated sequence? This is because this technique works by tracing a predetermined set of movements just like an artist for an animated film would draw 24 different pictures for just one second of an animation, a user of the projection technique is allowed to animate himself into the predetermined moveset that he has chosen and executes those movements during that single second. If you decide to move with this technique, it makes the person using this ability appear to move unrealistically fast. Both when Naoya and Naobito are using projection sorcery, they are so quick that not even special grey curses can keep up with them. While in the action of using projection sorcery, anything that gets touched by the palm of the user must also abide by the conditions and follow the 24 FPS rule when they move. If the person touched fails to follow this rule, they are frozen in an animation frame for one entire second. This is what we see when Naobita turns Dagon into a picture frame, and the same with Naoya when he turned Maki into a frame, then proceeded to kick her, sending her flying across the field. Even though the technique only allows one second for the user to make its attack before the enemy can move again, it is still extremely effective, as the users of projection sorcery are extremely fast and can comfortably attack during that one second. After the user hits the frame holding someone in it, it will cause the frame to break and the target will get sent flying out, usually heavily damaging them. While this ability is full of strengths, like being able to increase your speed and trapping your opponents momentarily, there are also several risks. This predetermined course of movement cannot be changed once it's started. If they decide to try and change the trajectory of their movement or the laws of physics, they are also frozen, being unable to move for the rest of that second, so it can pretty much backfire on its user and result in them being vulnerable to attacks. There is also a ceiling to the exertion placed upon the user's body while accelerating with this technique. I assume that's why they can't do 60 movements a second instead of 24, though if they maintain constant activation of the technique, speed will continually build up. So perhaps they might only be able to start off a movement with 24 frames a second, but if they continually use the ability, they may be able to increase it, but that is still completely unknown. I feel like the best way you can get a sense of how this ability works is going into, say, Sony Vegas or Premiere Pro and putting in any of your favourite anime clips and zooming in so that you can see just one whole second. Then count how many times that clip has movement throughout the second. Most likely, if there is constant movement in that second, it will have 24 individual pictures that make up that whole second of animation. Now play it at normal speed and try counting each individual movement for that second. This is the unrealistic, astonishing speed that someone who uses projection sorcery can move at. There is no possible way that you are going to be able to track where they go. Anyway, I know this was a bit of a shortened video, but I think I've said everything that I know myself about the ability and how it really works. If you have all enjoyed my content and want to see more explained videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video if you've finally understood how this technique works. Be sure to comment down below what you think about this technique yourself and whether you think we will see anyone else in the series use it. But for now, it's been your professional degenerate, Diavolo, and I'll see you all in a bit. Bye.